Everyone is so... carefree. Unafraid and unconcerned in spite of their weakness, and how easily their lives could be torn apart in an instant. Such luxuries are lost to us. We have no hopes or dreams, and even the release of death. Only hunger. Others are a means to an end, at times a literal one. We forge covenants with men and come here to feed, or to die. I thought it would be no different when I was summoned by Xenos. Lives were tools to him, to be used and discarded at whim. In that respect, he was a void sent at heart. But towards you, and you alone, he behaved... differently. And I cannot fathom why. What was it that drove him? What made him choose such an end? But enough about that man. He is dead and we are all better for it. Why are you here? Was there something you needed? So you're heading back now. Then as per our bargain, I will go as well. Everyone is here? Good. Let us set forth for the void once more. What is it? the meaning of this unless I'm mistaken that was intended for one of your kin who it was for the briefest of moments but I felt her Ashdayer I thought she was in the void as did I yet the presence was unmistakable thus did I call out only for it to fade and vanish. Perhaps she crossed over to the source, then immediately turned back. I do not know. Could she have found a way home? The how of it aside, if she was indeed in the source, there may be clues where she came through that could lead us back to her. Where exactly was it that you felt her presence? Far to the north. That was all I could discern. The north, you say? Beyond the bounty. Garlemald. As good a place to start as any. My apologies, Zero. But your return to the Void will have to wait. I told you before that I have no reason to go back there. Do as you will. All right. I presume you wish to stay here in Radzat Han until we return?
You've kept me amply fed. I wouldn't be averse to helping you on your search. If Ashdaya was indeed here, other Void Scent may have made the journey as well. Very well. We would welcome your company. If it's decided, then I'll contact our associates in Garlemald. It's me. Still talking everyone's ears off, I trust? Understood. We'll see you there. We're to rendezvous at Tertium. We'll need to teleport to make it there in time. Can you? I... I know it well from my time as an Avatar. Then it seems we're all set. If there is nothing else, let us see to our final preparations. My friends, tis good to see you again. And you. I was worried that the cold wouldn't agree with you, but you're both looking quite well. You get used to it. It helps that there's no shortage of fuel and heaters like before. Glad to hear it. Have you been working in Garlemald all this time? We have. Though the worst is behind them, the people still have a long road ahead. With the nation in ruins and the leadership void yet to be filled, there remains a lack of direction, a pervasive sense of aimlessness and worry. Still, everyone wants to make things better. And we're here to help. A lot of Garleans wanted nothing to do with us, but they're starting to come round. Slowly, but surely. <laughs> You're too kind. But it's thanks to the cooperation of like-minded souls that we've been able to make any progress. The Allied Nations continue to send supplies, which allow us to meet basic needs such as food and shelter. Meanwhile, Eulis and a number of soldiers have begun a restoration initiative, with more and more volunteers joining by the day. Like Alphano said, they've got a long road ahead of them. But we'll get there together, one step at a time. But enough about events here. What brings you to us? And with new company, besides? This may take rather a long time to explain, but bear with me. The 13th? After traveling to the edge of existence, I thought you'd keep your escapades closer to home for a while. But I suppose there's no stopping you. Not that I'm one to talk, of course. The heart of an adventurer cannot be denied. You could have at least invited me, too. Surely there was room enough for me and Grahar in the Undersea Vault. Oh, 
it's fine. You can make it up to me on the next one. But on a more serious note, are we sure it's wise to keep Xenos' former avatar around? I understand how you came to work together, but nevertheless... You're right to be cautious. I'm a void scent, after all. But do not conflate me with Xenos. To recall my time in his service, it... angers me. Is that so? I think we'll get along just fine, you and I. <clears throat> now that we are all caught up, to the matter at hand. As we were about to resume our search in the void, I felt the presence of my sister Ajdaya in the source. Somewhere in the far north, perhaps even here in Galmald. If you have seen or heard anything out of the ordinary, I must know. As a matter of fact, we may have. In recent days, we have had to contend with a surprising number of voids and, and not the lesser kind that occasionally manifest, but ones possessed of considerable power. You think they might have been summoned? By whom? We're not sure. But as Eulis reminded us, practitioners of a certain traditional Galian art rely upon void sent servants. The very same I believe you have mastered. While there are no known Reapers left in Garlemald, we can't rule out the possibility that some are working in secret. To summon not one, but several powerful Voidsend is no small feat. But if Ashdaya was indeed called from the Void... Then it is likely the same party is responsible. Alternatively, the etheric confluence at the Tower of Babel may have triggered an expansion of natural fissures one could use to cross over. But I think that improbable, if not impossible. And we must assume these events have indeed been orchestrated. Well, summoned or no, we've been trying to track them to their origin. It's the mountains to the east, we think. Can you guide us there? I would, but the terrain is too difficult to traverse on foot. Nor is flying an option due to the winds. Too much ground to cover in any case. Is there no way to narrow it down? There is one place we thought to look first. An isolated village rumored to have once been home to a Reaper Order. That would indeed make an excellent start. Though the question of how to get there remains. Eulus may be of assistance. Let us return to Camp Broken Glass and consult him.
What was it you wished to talk about? Why do you help these people? What is it that you stand to gain? I'm sorry? You don't act on behalf of a higher power, nor are you bound by a contract. In spite of this, you help them. Why? <laughs> and there I thought it was something serious. I help them because I want to. Because it's the right thing to do. But what do you stand to gain? You didn't answer the question. Didn't I? I followed my heart. What I got out of it came after. Was there anything else? If not, let's keep moving. Right. To act not out of obligation or in pursuit of gain. To simply live. And they survive like this. Finished, are we? Good. The cold doesn't let up out here, does it? They've the means to keep everyone warm at Camp Broken Glass and Tertium. But the measures are still only temporary. Subsisting on charity, dreading the day the sympathy of others is exhausted. It's no way to live. They need lasting safety and security.
Though things will never be as they once were. If we can restore a modicum of normalcy to their lives, maybe that will be enough for them to move forward. If we're to achieve that, we have to work harder. I have to work harder. You think I don't know my own limits? Still, I appreciate your concern. Well, our work here is done. We should be heading back. I hope Alpha No and Zero haven't gotten into any trouble. I cannot imagine how awful it must have been to serve as Xenos' avatar. To not only suffer him, but so much else. <laughs> She's a fighter, all right. Like you and me. Thank you, miss. Thank you. This feels... strangely familiar. Excuse me, Alphano. My wife, she's come down with a high fever. Do you think you could take a look at her? Of course. Give me a moment. Zero, may I leave the rest here to you? Fine by me. Thank you again for your help. Uh, Zero, was it? I take it you're one of Alphano's comrades? Comrade? We've entered into a cooperative pact, if that's what you mean. Pact? No, no, nothing so formal. What I mean is, you must know each other well. Be on good terms, enjoy each other's company, that sort of thing. Then no, he's not my comrade. I have none. Nor will I ever, I think. Oh. Did I say something odd? No, not at all. On the contrary, it makes sense. When Alphino and the Contingent first arrived, we rejected them out of hand. Whatever they may have claimed, they were the enemy. Savages with their savage ways. To accept their help was to admit defeat. But no matter how poorly we treated them, they didn't turn their backs on us. They stayed and listened. That's just the kind of people they are. Makes sense they'd get along with someone like you who tries to push others away. Get along? I'm upholding my part of the bargain. There's nothing more to it than that. 
if you say so. Ah, I'd nearly forgotten why I came. Are you hungry? We all get rations, and considering the work you're doing, you're as good as one of us. I am running low on ether. Very well. Asim step style dumplings. Boots, they call them. Never had a dumpling. It's like the kind of bread stuffed with a filling. Meat or vegetables, usually, that you bake or steam. We have our own recipes in Garlemald, too. My mother liked to make them. My brother and sister always fought over the jam-filled ones. J just think of it as bread, all right? I should warn you, though, they're spicy. Helps them keep longer, I assume. Too much for the children to handle, though. Interesting. Interesting good, or interesting... I don't know much about taste. Not anymore. But I do feel a sensation in my mouth. Is that a bad thing? Not necessarily. <laughs> That's enough for me. I've heard it said that spices are more akin to fire than flavors. Perhaps that makes them easier to understand. Oh, Eulus, getting acquainted with Zero, are we? Um, uh, I suppose I am. No harm in that. A quaint away. Ah, everyone is here. Excellent. Thank you all for your hard work. I've just finished up myself. Shall we go and find Astinian?
Report. Lost contact? When? Void sent. I'd bet my life on it. Understood. I'll investigate at once. A unit transporting supplies has gone silent en route to broken glass. I will go and search for it. Stay here and keep watch. But be ready to answer my call. If it was Void Sent, you'd be a fool to go alone. They'll find you before you find your men, and then they'll devour you as well. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps I don't stand a chance, but I can't just abandon them. I can't repay you for the bread if you're dead. I'll go. What? No! I couldn't possibly ask you to do that. I'm far better suited to dealing with Void Scent. It makes sense. Or do you mean to say you'd rather I stay here because you can't protect this place on your own? Don't do anything stupid. Promise me. Damn these demons! Return to the camp. Now. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Kindred, why do you interfere? Ah, of course. You sold your soul to feed. I have taken bread, but my soul is forever mine. Just like that time. When light still shone upon the world. When the Contra Memoria still raged. Stand aside if you value your life. We're only after women and wine. Darkness can take the rest. <laughs> Shh. 
You're not taking another step towards that village. Stupid girl. You were warned. We can get back to our business. doing here Yishtola and Estinian had matters well in hand so we went where we were needed Can you stand Let it burn, this fire in my breast. Let it burn and rage and guide. You did well to find me out here. We have Eulis to thank for that. He was quite worried when he called. Now. 
No. If it was not for you and the others, I... Well, let's not fuss over details. We should return to Tertium. Can you make it that far? I think so. Zero, are you all right? Well enough. No void sent struck here, did they? No. And there weren't any more casualties thanks to you. Oh. <sighs> what are you doing? You'll have no debts to repay, if that's what you're worried about. If anything, I owe you a week's worth of boots.
<laughs> All shall cower before the might of Archfiend. Can you show? 